The doll is on its way. Do you like to talk? Name my children, please. I need, I need to know more. Would you like to go back to live with Mark? Now I have many haunted dolls, but this one is something else. Well hi guys, it is currently the 6th of February. As you may have seen already, I am expecting a parcel from my good friend Mark at West London Paranormal. He is sending me his very haunted doll. Now that as you know the doll will be leaving me and it's going to my good friend Mickey York. And we thought why not let's ask her if she's happy going to Mickey because he's got quite a few dolls that he would like to have this one to go with her. And you can see she's sitting here and we're going to run the Necrophonics app that Rich has got here. I've got many haunted dolls, but this one appears to be a bit special. So, doll, you're going to go to Mickey, are you happy going to Mickey? You're going to go to Mickey and you're going to go with all the other dolls that he's got there. He's got some good dolls. Will you be good for him? Are you going to be become part of his family? Is that no? It sounded like no. <laughs> okay. And do you know what? It looks like she is evil looking at this camera. Oh, it's gone really cold as well now. It's gone really cold. Doll, are you going to be a good girl when you go to Mickey? Mickey's looking forward to having you there. I don't actually know the name and nor does Mark. Doesn't know the name of the doll. So maybe today I'm gonna to ask some questions. I'm gonna use a necrophonic app again. Just to see if I can, I don't know, somehow patch on, latch on to the spirit of the doll. Are you gonna cause him problems like you've been causing me problems? Are you gonna be good when you get there? We're going to say goodbye. We're going to put you in a happy place. Happy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we'll end it there. The doll obviously knows it's coming to me. It said my name in Mark's video. Are you going to be good when I send you to Mickey, yeah? This, I'm going to cut off now because we've got things to do. Have you got any words you want to send to Michael? All right then, spirits. I'm calling out to the attachment of the, the doll that Mark Kenny owns, West London Paranormal. You may have some connection with Jackie as well. Can you tell me the name of the doll? Who are you? Spirit of the doll, you have already said my name. You need help. Who are you? Are you excited to come to me? That's a friend. Friend. That's a Mike. Mark says you bring him bad luck. Is that true? Do you think you'll be happy here? That's your friends. We're gonna be friends, are we? Okay. Who are you? I say Emma, by the way. Is Emma your name? The doll? Mark's doll. Looking forward to uh, 
when the doll arrives, we're going to be doing more work with the doll, with equipment, spirit boxes, the necrophonic app. Such a mixture because I know that this doll is haunted. I have seen videos where this doll is talking, it's smiling, it changes its face shape. I have seen that with my own eyes. I need, I need to know more. I need to investigate more with it. When it arrives, when Mark sends it. It's Tuesday the 11th of Feb. I've picked up the doll. Here she is. Who knows what's gonna happen when I get it home and we start talking to her, seeing if she can give me her name. Just can't wait. I'm off to work now, so I won't be doing any spirit communication with the doll today. It will be tomorrow. So she's gonna be in my car. Hopefully just she doesn't break my car because I sort of need my car. But anyway, here. Yeah. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, the 12th of February. And she has arrived. She is here. Let the fun times begin. Past the pathway. Did well, Mark. You did well, mate. Where's the red? And there we go. There's only one person that knows this doll's name, and that is Jackie. Uh, Mark didn't even know her name, to be fair. She's massive. And I have seen videos of this doll with her face changing, like the smile, and it's really, really freaky. Uh, quite often the cameras will turn off, things will happen, so I'm lucky the camera is still rolling. So, time for the Necrophonic app. I'm gonna have a little go. Hello doll. That's hello. My my name is Mickey. Welcome to my home. I've heard lots of stories. Of, hi, lots of stories about you. Can you tell me your name? I'm Mickey. There's lots of spirits here, already. Do you remember Mark? Do you remember him? The first time me and you met was in Epping Forest, wasn't it? Was that daytime or nighttime? At night. Help. Hello. What do you need help for? Would you like to stay? To leave. Don't you want to stay? If they're not here. Would you like to stay in this house? Just give me a little flicker on the green. Thank you very much. Can you tell me how old you are, please? When Mark did a goodbye video with you in the woods. You said my name. You said Michael Play. Have you got any words you want to send to Michael? Does that mean you're going to mess about here? Gonna play. I am. I am. So this is going to be fun times. Well, I'm going to end this now. Thank you for talking to me. 
We're gonna have another chat very, very soon. Okay, can you say, can you say goodbye? Say bye. Goodbye. Hello doll, my name is Mickey. As you very well know, you've been in my house now for a few hours and I still need your name. Do you have any messages for me? No. No. Don't you want to talk? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to talk? What have we learnt so far? The name Emma has come through twice. He doesn't seem to like being in this house. It's said a couple of times, wants to be friends. I'm a bit confused. So, still haven't got the name. Gonna speak to Jackie and find out the name, age, everything else like that. So I can really go into detail and see if I can, see if I can spark some sort of uh, reaction from the doll. Are we gonna have fun with you? M messing about in my house? It's gonna be interesting, isn't it? We've got lots of spirits in this house. We've got Janet the doll, Satan Sadie, Asylum Annie, Burnt Baby, The Blinking Bride, Rosa, Ethel, Hector, Posh Edward. There's many spirits in this house. That's just from my dolls. And then you've got the, the man who walks on my stairs and the little boy and the little girl that's upstairs. You are gonna be outnumbered, yeah? Are you okay with that? Did that say no? Mark tells me you are very mischievous. Jackie informs me that you are very haunted and you like to play. I would like you to come forward and talk to me, please. That's what I'm waiting for. I need your name. Otherwise, you'll just be called The Doll. The Doll, that's your name. You happy with that? You don't need to be afraid. I don't mean you any harm. Right, Doll. The Doll, that's your name at the moment. We will work more with you another time. I'm gonna get that name. Gonna get it. So my plan for tonight is to set a locked off camera on the doll and just leave it running overnight. See if anything happens, any sounds, uh, any movements from the doll. Maybe the hat will move. Maybe she'll change her facial expressions. Who knows? Maybe you'll hear voices. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's my aim for tonight. So I'm gonna set it up in a bit. It's half 10 now. So I'm just gonna leave it running overnight as long as the battery lasts. Hopefully we'll get some good footage. There we go. It's 11 o'clock at night. Time to start recording. Turn the light off. So we're in green screen. So I'm just getting ready to do a little session with the doll. And I've turned the trifield meter on and we're spiking. What the hell? Shouldn't be spiking. You don't like being on camera, do you? Hope you're gonna tell me your name today. Wow, that's weird. 
Okay. If you'd like to come forward, I'm calling out to the spirit attached to this doll. I hear you don't like to be filmed, to be photographed, being on camera. Is that right? I'm just going to look through some messages from the from Jackie, the previous owner, with Mark. Right. So it's possible that she doesn't like men. The spirit attached to this doll does not like men. Is that true? Are you going to make my camera stop working? That's what you like to do. I'm asking you to use that and come forward. Come and talk to me. The stairs are quite active in my house. This is where a, a large dark figure walks up and down the stairs. So that's why I'm using this part of my house today. I'm trying to communicate with the spirit of this doll. Your friend. Your friend. So sorry. So sorry. Are you my friend now? Is that right? Do you like me? Do you, do you like me? No. Are we are we friends? No. Name my children, please. Or would you like to say goodbye? Dad. Dad. I'm not your dad. Dad is what the little girl calls my name when I'm in the bathroom. So it's now midnight and I'm trying another experiment with an overnight filming session with the doll. And I've been told by Jackie that if I take her hat off, she doesn't like it and her facial expressions will change. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take the hat off. There we go, the hat is off. The hat is there and it's going in front of her. Now with this, maybe I can zoom in a bit on her face. How long have we got recording there again? Look, four hours, six minutes to go. Yeah, so I'll leave that and check it out in the morning. So it's 1am Monday morning, just going to try a little EVP session with the doll. I do know her name, 
but at the moment I'm not going to mention it. I'm going to wait to film with my new spirit box. Were you upset that I took your hat off last night? Did that annoy you? Jackie's been telling me stories about you. Do you remember Jackie? Do you remember Mark? Jackie's been telling me stories about you. Do you remember Jackie? Do you remember Mark? Jackie has told me your name. Does that upset you? Do I now have some sort of control over you? Because I know your name. Sounded a bit like yeah, but I'm not sure. Do you think she likes being here? Do you think she's happy? I'm gonna do some more work with her tomorrow. Possibly the last session. Because I know her name, I know her hair colour, I know lots more about her now that from what Jackie's told me. Okay. So we have another session with the doll and I know your name and I'm going to turn this Spiricom box on and see what happens. See if we can get some good answers today. Okay doll, I know your name. Your name is Jennifer. Jennifer is your name. Is that right? Your name is Jennifer. <laughs> you are nine years old. I hate it. Should we be friends? Are we gonna be friends? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Not really. My name is Mickey. Your name is Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. I know you're a child. Is it scary? Do you feel afraid? Come on, we've got. Friend, again. Yes, we can be friends. Every device, every spirit box. It's a nightmare. I keep getting the word friend through. I'm letting all the spirits know in this house, your name is Jennifer. There's a little boy and girl that, that live up here on this stairs, this landing area. Maybe you could, maybe you could be friends with them. Okay, I need to go and, go and get something, Jennifer. I'm just going to leave the camera here a minute. If you want to talk, you can carry on, yeah? I'll be back in a minute. Hello, Jennifer. Does the name Emma mean anything to you, Jennifer? Is there a connection with Emma? Or well, maybe that's the spirit of the little girl up here. Is she trying to be your friend? Would you like to be friends with Emma, if that's her name? 
I know about the fire as well. The, f the fire. Okay, Jennifer. Hello? Long ride. Long ride? I think, uh... Jennifer. Hello? I'm in shot as well now, because I know you don't like being on camera. Ooh. Oh, you're very shy today. Does this upset you? Would you like to go back to live with Mark? Hello? Difficult. Difficult. Okay. Jennifer. Is there anything you need to tell me? I want to know about the fire, Jennifer. Are you feeling lonely here? Are you lonely? The only thing. Mike, that's me. I'll be back in a minute. You carry on talking. Do you want to hold my hand? Yeah. Are we friends? I'm now getting pins and needles all down this arm. Is that you affecting me? Because I'm holding your hand. Is your energy going through me? Wow, that feels so weird. I feel really dizzy. Wow. Holding your hand is really... It's given a kind of physical effect. That I'm not sure about. <laughs> You think it? What What are you doing to me? I can't feel this arm. This arm is ice cold and it has gone numb. Wow. What is on the... What is wrong with that? What have you done? You have what? I mean, there's no marks, I don't think. Not that you'll see anyway, because it's just all tattoos. But. Wow. So I've had a little break, about 10 minutes, let my arm get the feeling back. It's okay now. I say Emma, I get Emma again. Who is Emma? That must be the little girl that lives up here. Run? Jennifer! Can you see the little girl? Oh, I'm getting a headache. Are you affecting me, Jennifer? Are 
He's been here nearly two weeks now. And this is the first, today is the first physical stuff that has happened with my left arm a little while ago. And now the headache. Now I normally get headaches just here, like a migraine on one left side of my, my forehead. But this is all over, which I don't normally get. <laughs> Jennifer, is this you doing this? Are you affecting my head? No. Did that just say die? Really? You don't like me, do you? Did that say men? She doesn't like men. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold your hand again. Because you've already affected my left arm and possibly my head now. Do you like this? Do you like me holding your hand? Battery? Are you, are you going to affect my equipment? What happened with the fire? What was it? Well, I need to step away a minute. Uh, I'm gonna go and bring something up here. Go. Uh, I'll leave this running and I'll be back. Some of you guys may know what this is now. Come on. Yes, we have Janet. Janet the doll. She's not a nice doll. She. She affects people's hearts, everything. So we're gonna finish off with Janet and Jennifer. Do you have a message for each other? Just let's say we're here. Hello, Janet. It's been a while. You're right. <laughs> Can Jennifer and Janet live together? Started. Bye Jennifer. <laughs> Bye Janet. Thank you for your communication today. It's been interesting. Thank you. Did that just say go to hell? Go to hell, really? Wow. Whoa. Wow, that was intense. So guys, it's half past 10. I've come home from work and I've had a headache all day since the session with Jennifer this morning. Don't know what to say. Uh, I've took painkillers and it still hurts. It's still throbbing. I just need to get some rest and hopefully I feel better in the morning. So it's now the next day. My headache is gone. I feel better, I feel refreshed. And I think it's time this video comes to an end. We've had two weeks with Jennifer the doll. Uh, massive thank you, first of all, to Mark for passing her on to me, and also Jackie for being an integral part 
of the initial setup of this doll and of all the help that she has given me. But everything that she's let me know about the doll, her name, age, etc. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail because she has told me stuff that I don't think needs to be made public, if that makes sense. Uh, some of it has come up in the video, so I think I'll, I think I'll just leave it there. So yeah, my conclusion is this doll, is Jennifer haunted? Well, I would say yes. You've seen the video, you've seen the responses. Some of them are crazy. Now it's not only on one device, I've used three or four different devices to get some audio communication going with the doll. And I feel it's worked very well. She seems to have mixed feelings about myself. She wants to be my friend, but then she'll swear at me and it's a bit confusing, but she definitely does not want to be here. I know that for a fact. Uh, a couple of times she said she wants to leave, doesn't want to stay here and she wants to go back to Mark. So Mark, I'm sending her back to you. No, he says, because he had some personal issues with the doll. Very bad luck. And since passing her on to me, his life has changed. Everything is good, everything is positive. So don't worry, mate. Jennifer is staying with me. She is part of my spirit family in this house. And I'm happy to welcome her. So. Cheers Mark, cheers Jackie. The two weeks have been a success. I think I've learned an awful lot about her. Just for her to validate certain things about the possibility of how she died from what Jackie's told me to actually hearing it a few times on the, the spirit boxes yesterday was amazing. And yeah, it's definitely an experience and one I have enjoyed. And obviously it doesn't end there. I will be doing more videos with Jennifer, like I do with my other haunted dolls. But this was just the initial process of talking to Mark, getting her sent to me, welcoming her into my house, and see if we can get that initial communication going. And it did. So guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Make sure you share with everybody. Tell everybody about Jennifer the doll, uh, like this video please and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos with Jennifer and the other dolls that I have. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video. See you later guys.